you're obviously interested in, in EVs, alternative energies generally. How, yeah. how did that come about? Well, I think it was a, a kind of slow process because I was definitely a sort of amateur petrol head. I mean, mm. I, 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 I did actually trade in an R32 Golf for a Prius. And there's been quite a lot of people who are right. very into sort of the hot hatchback yeah. genre. One or two of them quite famous yeah. for presenting yeah. television programmes who find that quite a challenging Tough. thing yeah. to do. <laughs> and it was quite funny. And it was, I, there was no doubt, I sat in a big Toyota showroom outside Oxford and mm. saw a guy drive my R32 away. And it was a much-loved car. Yeah. And even through the, the double glazing head, yeah. as he drove around the corner and then, <laughs> in came my Prius. Oh, well, done. And it was quite <laughs> difficult, but it was a... I, I had driven a Prius in California in the, when they first came out. Okay. Uh, one of the crew I worked with had one, and I didn't know, I didn't know what it was. Mm. I was just getting a lift back from a, a shoot, and I, suddenly we moved away from traffic lights in the middle of Los Angeles, and it didn't, the engine hadn't yeah. started. You know, yeah. that first time, I had yeah. no idea. I didn't, know, I didn't even right. know what the car was. Just a rather ugly car. Yeah. That was and, all I knew. And that was the That, that was, was the, start the precursor of the, of the sort okay. of second, it was the first generation Prius. Yeah. And that just intrigued me, and I looked yeah. under the bonnet, and the, it, the person who owned it was a uh, researcher, I knew nothing about it. Yeah. And she, I said to her, what, God, how does this work? She said, no, it's just a car. <laughs> and that, which is, I think, another clue, yeah. very simple to use, it, wasn't, yeah. it didn't take any change in, yeah. in use. And it was fascinating, to the, way, the way they combined, you know, the yeah. first, when you first saw that, a petrol engine and an electric motor, it yeah. just didn't, you know, I'd never seen that before, yeah. and I thought that was genius. So that kind of got me interested but in it, it, it was the it. tech side of things rather than the environmental side was it that, uh, for that me really i think so i mean and then and then uh, then I th but i think i i was always a, a, a guilt-ridden petrol because <laughs> i you know i had i'd lived in communes i'd ridden by um, I, I refused to go in a car for, for okay. years i wouldn't go in them they were just wrong they should yeah. all be banned and we should yeah. all live in an agrarian egalitarian society yeah. I had hair down like and that, then, I can't deny it. And then you grew up. And then I got a, then I got yeah. a, Ford, a, a Golf GTI. Yeah. <laughs> and realised actually that was yeah, quite good that a bit of fun. Yeah. So, but it was always that side that where I think, yeah. this isn't right. Yeah. You know, it, it is, it just, you know, in terms of gross logistics, mm. a, a traffic jam of a thousand petrol engine cars with one person yeah. in each car, it doesn't yeah. matter how you look at it, that's yeah, bonkers. It's yeah. stupid. Yeah. It's just daft. It's a daft way of moving around where you could have one train or... Yeah. You know, all those things. So all those arguments have always stood, but then I'd sit in the traffic jam in the R32, and yeah. Woo, 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 woo. yeah, but listen Enjoying to that. the noise, yeah. Woo. Yeah, because it was, it did have that sort of boom. Ground, and yeah. I did take it on a track. And I actually, take it on a track was when I kind of went, no, I don't want this. Because when you drive it oh, as fast as you can, and okay. it was an impressive, I, don't know, yeah. I think it's fair to say it's an impressive yeah. piece of kit. Yeah. You can't do that on a road. No, you just no, ever, safely. you know, and you shouldn't be allowed. You shouldn't be allowed to. I don't think you should be allowed to drive a car like that, that fast. So it just went. I don't need that. Now. Mm. Mm. And the, you know, you couldn't do that. Now. As we discovered, you and I discovered disastrously yeah. uh, driving a Prius around Silverstone, uh, which was recorded. No one got hurt. No one got Nothing hurt. Nothing got damaged. Nothing got damaged. Only my uh, my just pride, because my stupid batteries weren't charged and the cameras didn't work. Oh. God. Anyway, and that's that's not a good thing to be admitting to, <laughs> given the discussion we're having at the moment, of course. But <laughs> about electricity and yes. batteries, yeah, can't can't enter the competition. So you've got to plug it in. All of a sudden, range extenders sound like a really good idea Very on good EVs. Idea. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But anyway, so that the, you know the whole the thing of the, the X Prize when I found out about that, and that's how I found you. I found yeah, oh, the X Prize. Oh, okay. I want to, okay. and I wanted to, you know, get a scrap heap team to build a car and enter it. And all. this is years before I was in touch with you. And then I went, that's not going to happen. No. Uh, it's going to be far too difficult. And then I looked at who was entering it. And I said, that's, so then I found you guys and just was really excited about what you were doing. And yeah. I think more so, I think if I'd come here and you had a, a, a little compact Peugeot or Fiat yeah. and you'd strip the engine out, and you put, I'd go, oh, yeah. Yeah. you know. But what to see what that you were building from the ground up yeah. with the technology you have and the, the expertise you have, yeah. that is suddenly, this is a really exciting yeah. car.